There are two primary methods for defining the dimensions of grid models. The strongly recommended method is to use the output or project dimensions that are set within the Project Settings Dimensions window. This will ensure that all of your grids and block models have the same dimensions, which is very important when performing operations with multiple models. These dimensions may be examined and changed by clicking on the Adjust Examine Output Dimensions button. The non-recommended method is to select the variable option, which will scan the input data and automatically set the dimensions based on the data extents. This method is intended for quick analyses when you don't plan on performing operations with multiple grids or solid models. There are three sub-options available when the variable option has been selected. The Average Minimum Distance option will set the cell spacing equal to a multiple of the average minimum distance between the control points. For example, if the scalar is set to 0.5, the cell spacing will be set to one half of the average minimum distance between the control points. The Manual option will compute the cell dimensions by dividing the data extents by the node density setting and then adjusting the X and Y spacing to be equal. The Current option will use whatever grid dimensions were used in the previous gridding operation. This can be handy if you're creating successive grid models and you want them to have the same dimensions but you don't wish to use the project dimensions. Finally, the Confirm Grid Dimensions applies to all of the options listed above. It will allow you to review and adjust the dimensions prior to generating a grid model.